the video newsletter for buysellshort.com for Thursday, May 15th. Here we have the Dow 15-minute chart. We broke out of this bullish falling wedge that we've been trapped in over the last uh, few days. Uh, nice breakout mid-morning, and then the market just continued to extend. We're, we flipped now into this bearish rising wedge. But uh, actually, we move over to the daily chart. Looks really, really good. If and when we get a close above the 13,000 level or 200-day moving average, that's at 1316, we could really see the Dow put in a pretty large move here. We could see it move to the 13,500 area in pretty short order. We're talking, you know, a week or so. RSI, nice bounce off the 50 level. If we scroll down here, stochastic bounce off this triple bottom we had in place. We've got a positive ADX. On balance volume looks really good. So uh, the Dow is looking really, really good here. And so are the tech stocks driven by the SMH. Let me go back to the smaller time frame view on the SMH. Got our break above the 200-day moving average. Hit our target that I set uh, a few weeks ago at 33. So we got a six dollar gain on that from that call send an alert to book at least half to three quarter gains on the smh so we've booked a fat gain and you can just ride the rest of it now and if you're looking to put stops in on it trail your stops at the 20 day which is at 3150 go to the wider time frame today's close is actually around the upper resistance line of the bearish rising wedge we've been in since January on the SMH. Breakout now on the SMH is not too far above. It is 34. But uh, we've come quite a way over the last uh, three or four weeks. So I'd be pretty surprised if we see a break of 33.84. Uh, we're probably going to see a retrace before we get an attempt on that. Over 34, there really is no resistance until the $37 area. Stock plays, still trading water in CMOS. Uh, shook out yesterday, bounced all the way back again. So we're just waiting for this one to go. This is typical action for this kind of formation. Um, stochastics looking really, really good. And we had a positive MACD crossover. So this one is just itching to run and looking for an excuse. And you're probably going to see it just go vump really fast. So that's the reason we're in and waiting and not actually buying the breakout. Once we move over 117, it's off to the races on this stock. SATC broke out for us today. Uh, got as high as 220 um, before it retraced. Great breakout here. Increasing volume, RSI looks good. Strong ADX, check out the on balance volume. Big spike in on balance volume, stochastics look great. Uh, just a really nice setup here. Support is now at 190 on this stock. China stocks are starting to pick up momentum here, no surprise going into the Olympics. China itself, uh, breakout on this one would be, let's just say a close over 350, and this one will be back off to the races. No worries on this one. If we scroll down a little, we're about to have a positive MACD crossover on China. Stochastics are still deeply oversold. Uh, it's been itching to run for the last couple of days, but it's gotten walked down at the close. It's strong early in the day and then gets slapped down for a fake close. Once we get above 350, there should be no real stop in the stock till it gets to the 370 plus area. Just a quick mention on ELN. More on analyst came out today and downgraded Elon with an $18 target. His reasoning, uh, the Alzheimer's drug may have bad news. But this same moron analyst came out and upgraded Wyatt, saying, we believe it's time to buy Wyatt for their Alzheimer's drug. Uh, it's the same damn drug. Just uh, goes to show you what morons and how crooked these uh, analysts are. And, you know, when these fifth tier pump shops come out, you know, with ridiculous ratings like today's on Elon and Wyatt, uh, you know they're 
the mouthpiece for hedge funds, either looking to cover their shorts or looking to add more shares on weakness. A uh, few fools got sucked into it early on, and you know the stock, of course, ended up just like it always does on these ridiculous downgrades. That's really it for the video tonight. Uh, feeling a little under the weather. We had a big update today, so let's see what scalps appear for us tomorrow. Market is really starting to look good. If we get a move above 13K like I think we're going to, we should really start to see the small cap stocks start to pop all over the place. So a little bit more patient, guys, and you know we should start to see a lot of new scalps. Just a quick word on ARIA. It was a trading alert yesterday. Ended up stopping us out. Uh, don't know what to say on that one. Really flabbergasted on the move there, but uh, stopped out. We're not going to throw it away. We're going to keep watching it because it is a cancer play on ASCO. It happens. You know, the, the fundies knocked it down today, and usually when we see that kind of action, there's a pretty sharp snapback. So we're going to be keeping an eye on that one for a move back above 260. That is it for the video tonight. I'll see you guys in the chat room tomorrow. Good night.